This is the future. So are we finally getting endgame content in Warframe? That quick answer is a big no, for those thinking that the new arch and fights in the upcoming Veilbreaker update will be endgame Warframe, then don't get your hopes up high as the only endgame in Warframe right now is Fashion Frame, or finally end playing Warframe, get it? End of game. But jokes aside, let me tell you what exactly you will be getting from the Veilbreaker update. The Veilbreaker update will include returning characters previously thought dead like Calendera. Yes boys and gals, our beloved Grinir is alive and as for how did this happen? Well, we didn't really see Cal died in the new war. He was about to detonate the grenade when suddenly Arrow appeared and stopped him. In the Veilbreaker trailer, you see Cal losing the Nama mind control device which explains that he was held captive by the Torogin with no balls all this time. Now that he's free, it's time to get some Cal action again. As to what type of game mode will they be adding for this faction specific gameplay, well, I don't have a clue yet, and the trailer was pretty vague about it. All Cal did was fought a thumper and throw grenade on sentience. But what if, Digital Extremes decided to add Conclave 2 in the Veilbreaker update? I'm not talking about player versus player Warframe combat though. Instead, what if they'll be bringing faction wars in the Veilbreaker update? If that happens, then things are about to get pretty interesting. The gameplay composition on Faction War is already there, and we have seen its foundation, on how each faction operates when they are controlled by the player. All digital extremes need to do now is just giving an arena wherein we can fight against a different faction in the game. As for Error, I really thought that he was dead during our escapade on the Fregaza, that big sentient mothership where we joined Error to have us trolled to death. He is alive and coming for your heads on the Veilbreaker update, with a new head that is. Eru invented the Archons, which are sentient animals that are fused and grafted on Warframes. And for Eru, the creator of the Archons, for his resurgence to be in an Archon form is the only way that any part of him made it through the new war which completely makes sense I guess. Now, what are these Archon fights? I think it's the same fight obviously but, these are not considered endgame activities however. Reb did specifically said that they are actually doing another deer of sorties. What they are going to do is bring the Archons back for a weekly content type of sorties. Week 1 will be MR, Nera would be the next week, and you'll have all week to take them down in their weekly sortie which will be in their designated area. In addition, you're only going to be matched with other players that are in that difficulty tier to actually engage with the Archon content. They did say that they are not sure how hard they are going to go with it because there's so many ways in Warframe to make it a very easy game. So, they are still figuring out those fights at a 4 player Warframe level because what you saw in the new war was the first two Archons were slow drifter combat, and people just kind of steamrolled the third one. When you bring 4 Warframes into a fight with an Archon, there should be a lot of rebalancing and work to do, as it will just be an absolute cake walk. I think they'll be adding modifiers on each arch in fights, just like the sorties to make it a bit challenging for a four-man team setup, but then again, they did not specify in making it brutally hard and, if you have fought against these archons, then you know that they don't have any hard mechanics at all. They are just like boss fights in star chart missions with a couple of new abilities to challenge our warframes. In terms of rewards, I'm hoping that we won't just get them on sets of each archons and their respective signature weapons. I hope that Digital Extremes will add more rewards and, I'm hoping that we also get to fight the Arrow Archon with new loot rewards. They did also said that they are not tying the new Warframe Styanax as reward for this Archon fights in the Veilbreaker update, and they'll be doing something for the 50th Warframe so, I guess I'm wrong when I'm said that Styanax will be coming during Duveri Paradox. It will most likely be released during Veilbreaker or after Veilbreaker I guess. Now, here's the very interesting part. Rebecca also said that Veilbreaker will introduce a new system which we can get new rewards and not just rewards that we have already. Those Archon crystals that fuse the head, are the source of power for many things including you, and they have something very fun coming for that which I am very curious. When they say power, are they referring to buffs of some sort? I'm very excited with the Veilbreaker update to be honest, and I'm hoping that before Duveri Paradox, we get something refreshing and entertaining as right now, we have Cora Prime Access, which I think most of you got. I hope that we will hear more news about the Veilbreaker update release date this week. Thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off.